IV flush and VIP assessment skill. This is one of the skill you can get for your OSCE. Let's look at what are the common errors that can happen in this skill which you can avoid. So I'm going to go through and walk you through what are these errors. Let's look at them. Number one common error people will be doing is understanding this is the medication station. Even though it is they give you normal saline which is sodium chloride to flush, this is considered as medication. You will have a hospital medication chart or a one page medication chart. I have seen one page medication chart commonly people picking up straight away. But if it is a hospital chart, people are struggling to understand and identify the medication in the hospital chart. Let's look at that. It's about the chart and then picking up the medication. Then how do you actually give the medication? That's another thing you need to pick it up. Let's look at closer. When you have a medication chart, you will not have a separate scenario given. The scenario will be within the medication chart. Read the scenario. What is the time of your medication? So they will not write like this IV flush skill. So but within the scenario, you should understand this is an IV flush skill. It needs to be done today at 1400. Now, next page when you look at you will need to pick up the patient details. Here you will have to enter the details of yours if you are a nurse administering the medication and identify or check where is the medication prescribed. Are there any allergies before going into that? Check any allergies. Medication IV flush may be prescribed under once only medication. Check it. Here I can see that it's prescribed on once only medication to be given at 1400. So time given is empty, signature is empty. That means I need to give this medication. Or you might see in the regular medication section, either this page or that page. Or you can see the medication in the as required medication section if it is there. So you might need to put a start date and time and signature. So because as required but right now so my prescription is under once only medication. Occasionally they might give you under infusion section here. So, but this is not an infusion, there is just a flush. So, if they give you here, they might be mentioning volume 5 ml to flush the cannula. So, understanding medication is important. Now, other common error people are struggling to understand is the actual cannula. Let's look at the cannula closely. This particular cannula, if you look at, has an extension, two-way extension. You can see sometime you might have only one extension connected to the cannula. Now I have seen many occasions there is no extension here. So this bio connector will be connected directly here. So without an extension. So now my simple advice here Try not to disconnect anything in the cannula. Here your responsibility is check the cannula whether any signs of infection. And if there is any signs of infection, redness, pain, match the score and read out the action what you would do for the particular score. Once you have done, so you use this cannula. So when you are using the cannula, touching the cannula, make sure you have a gloves and apron. So I'm going to wear the gloves and apron and I'm going to show you how to check the medication against the prescription and then administer the medication. So now I'm going to show you 
how to administer actual medication using the prescription. Let's I'm going to wear the gloves and apron. First, I'm going to wash my hand. Following WHO hand hygiene technique. I'm going to wear the gloves, so I'm going to pick up the medication. So when you pick up the medication, so common error here is people are not checking the medication properly. So important to check the medication here. You can open the package. It is sealed. There is no needle. There is a cap completely sealed. Now, important here is read the medication first. What medication you have? Here it says 0.9% sodium chloride and expiry date. What expiry date do you have? For today's day, this expiry date is 2024. It's within date. Now, important. Next step is cross-checking against the medication chart. Here, common error is people don't cross-check. Number one is not reading the expiry date onto the syringe. Number two, not checking where is the medication, how to cross check. Make sure read out the medication fully and say prescription is legible and valid. And now you can place the syringe into the tray. Before placing the syringe into the tray, I can see here there is an air bubble within the package. I can take the cap off without touching. I can take the air bubble off. So I can draw back a little. So take the air bubble off and keep it ready. And I will have one wipe, chlorhexidine wipe within the tray. Now, administration of medication. So you can uh, go to the patient and administer the medication. When you are administering the medication, please understand there are other steps are involved, but I'm only showing the common errors you will be doing in the exam. So now here, you will need to identify the right patient because of the medication. So how do you connect the syringe? This might be a common error. People are struggling to connect. So first thing you do, hold the binecta and scrub clean the binecta and allow it to dry for 30 seconds, cleaned for 30 seconds. Now, do not let the bioconnector go down. Okay, if you go down, it might touch anywhere unless you can safely leave it somewhere. So, which is unlikely, it might flick and touch the arm. So, that needs to be a septic holder. How do I hold the syringe? So, I always hold it with the other finger here and safely take the cap off. And now, connect the syringe when you're connecting, this is where people struggle because rubber can push it back. So connect and lock it. Now you take the lock of the extension, push the lock. And now you flush the medication. Once you flush the medication, make sure all of the medication is gone in. So you need to have a technique of flushing the medication one mill at a time and then once the whole of the medication is in you will need to lock the extension and then take the syringe out now here is the thing if the bio connector directly on you will not have a lock in there 
So once you have disconnected, you do not need to clean it again because it is meant to be preventing the infection going in. If next person is using, they will be cleaning before using. So you can discard the syringe and the cap into the clinical waste bin. This is not a shark. So you can go into the clinical waste bin. And then you take your gloves off. You take your apron off. Alcohol gel your hand. And complete your documentation. Two areas you must need to complete the documentation which is critical. A lot of people do an error. Number one, identify where was the medication when you read, when you prepared the medication. So my medication was under stat section. Okay, so I am going to check where I am going to complete the documentation. I am going to put a time. What's my time? 1400. And I am going to put my signature. So next thing I need to do, I've done the medication prescription where I, where I have put a time and a signature. Now I'm going to complete the person administering detail. It's not a prescriber detail. Doctor's details are there. I am the person administering. I put my name, full name. I'm going to put initial, first and surname. And I'm going to put a signature, base, wherever the patient is, that's your base, which is medical assessment unit. So these are the two places you have to complete the documentation. As I said, sometimes prescription might be under regular section. Keep an eye on that. This might be a common error you might see in IV flush. So you can avoid these errors happening in your skill. Practice well, follow all the steps. I've not covered all the steps. Most of the time people do the other steps. These are the errors I have seen commonly people repeating. So let's avoid those errors and pass this skill. I am Gilbert Martis from Health Skills Training. Leave your comment and subscribe to the channel and let us know what do you want to see next. Thank you very much.